Oh, welcome back. Well, I'm just uh, just passed through Amarama about 20 minutes ago, just heading to Lindis Pass, which is just the summit's just up here actually. So it's what 10 to 10 to 10 in the morning, and had a lovely breakfast, had a couple of two cups of coffee. So I'm really checking out really where I want to shoot tomorrow morning. So I'm just going to come up to the pass, maybe spend an hour or so up here, have a look around. All right, so I've just done a couple of test shops up here and I've decided tomorrow morning I'm going to use the uh, 35 to 70 uh, up here. It's just that 25 to 35, just a little bit wide for me. And so I'll go with that. So from the road to here, it was about maybe a 10 minute walk. So 30 minute drive, 40 minutes. So sunrise is about 7 a.m. So I've got to leave, I reckon, half past five, caught the six uh, just to get up here and set up so yeah so it's always good to come out and scope out your place um, know roughly what lens you're going to use and look that road down there I've just come forward and that road down there look you could go down the bottom down there and maybe that's a good leading line but um, you just got a little bit of elevation up here and that road will probably come into play on that left hand side which is I'm happy with that and the sun will be coming up from that right side so hopefully some really nice side light and hopefully similar clouds tomorrow okay so I'm happy with that so I'm going to head back let's get this sorted out eh rightio Oh, oh, good morning. So back to the spot from yesterday afternoon and uh, just that winds are starting to pick up. So I just checked the elevation on the car driving up. So we're just a tad under a thousand metres above sea level. So uh, quite cool. Um, so we've got a bit of cloud. I'll just turn the camera around. You can have a look at what I'm seeing this morning. Hopefully you can see that with the old GoPro. So, uh, yeah, so the GoPro's pushing everything away. Um, if I come back into the uh, camera here, you might be able to see, or you may not be able to see, but uh, certainly uh, a lot zoomed in. So, yeah, so I'm just, uh, it's about another 30 minutes before sunrise. So the sun's coming over from this direction. So hopefully it'll cast some nice light on this uh, couple of little mountains here. We'll see you soon. Now I'm not too sure if you can see that, but uh, you know I always check my histogram, especially the uh, you know the red, green, and uh, blue. Because um, if you just use the camera meter, if I just turn that back to my standard meter on the bottom right side doesn't give me really a true you can see that white sitting up the top here well that blue channel is just starting to clip so I always turn those on just have a quick look to make sure I can just bring those back into where I want them all right so with uh, my panos so this is how I shoot it uh, look I'm on manual uh, manual mode and I'll try and get it as level as I can now I do have my horizon line so it's green so I don't have a pano head um, it's uh, as level as I can get it, yeah, and uh, I'm, f you know, I'm not, there's nothing really in front of me. Um, I think this is what's called is that parallax error or whatever. So what I do is I, because the sun's coming in on the right side, I want a meter. Say I might start this side or I might want to start on this side. I'd always come in and check your meter because um, the light is obviously on the right side. So just check your meter. Um, I just turn that camera back on. Um, check that meter. You can see a little bit of clipping warning there. So you can see. So what I would do is just bring that dial that back. Um, dial that back. So I'm just looking really at the those three channels. Well, there's the combined red, green, and blue makes the white. But uh, so I'm pretty happy with that. So if I just come round. So everything should fall into um, a good exposure. All 
All right, so I've got a little bit of colour. Um, I think sunrise probably in about five to ten minutes. So, look, I'll just run you through my uh, pano here. So, what I'm doing is, as I said before, I've got a nice green line there, so it's as level as I can get it. It's zoomed right in at 70. And I'm just shooting to the right here because this is my brightest area. I'm going to bring up that uh, histogram. I'm just going to bring up the histogram and just, just make sure I'm not clipping anything. Which, look, I'm happy there. To the right there. And I'm just going to come back and shoot it from this side. And I'm just looking at it. So, look, I've got some start about here so once again I'm on a two second timer and all I'm doing the software will match this up so as long as I give it the information that it needs so I'm just looking at that left side of that hill coming coming down here so it's gonna uh, find that now I've got a um, little mountain here so I'm gonna keep that roughly in the frame so I can find that Looking good, and up there, and let's have a look, say, there, and the last one. All right, looking good. So yeah, got some nice colour on that side over there. Hopefully this uh, cloud here will just get hit in a few more minutes. So when I do my panos and I'm going to shoot another one, I actually put my hand in front of the camera with my fingers. So I know um, that's kind of the, at the end of the shot. So I know when I come back into Lightroom or whatever I bring it in, I know that uh, that's just another shot started. And that blue channel is just starting to clip, so I'll just keep that off there. Right out. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I'll just come around, you can see some, some cloud being lit up behind me there. That's the road to Queenstown, straight ahead there. That's the way to, to Queenstown. It's probably a couple of hours drive from here. Uh, Lake uh, Wanaka, it's probably an hour, I'm guessing about an hour's drive maybe. Yeah, so I'm pleased I hung around uh, about another 30 minutes from uh, my last video and finally just some light just hitting those. Uh, those picks on the right side. So just done another pano. I'm probably going to do another one in a few more minutes. But uh, some really nice light starting to show up. 